Excel's table feature was added with the 2007 release of the product and to this day remains one of the most underutilized feature of the application. Among the many benefits associated with tables include dynamically resizing data ranges, using structured references to write formulas, and automatic formula replication. In this tip, you will learn how to create user-defined names for your tables in Excel. Regardless of the method you choose to create a table, that is, from the Home or Insert tabs of the ribbon, with a keystroke shortcut, or by importing data from external data sources, Excel automatically assigns a name to the tables you create. The first table you create in a workbook inherits the name Table 1. The second table you create in a workbook inherits the name Table 2, and so on. Many users find these default table names to be non-descriptive of the data contained in their tables and, if you use numerous tables in a workbook, potentially confusing. Fortunately, you can easily rename a table and assign it a name that makes it easier for all users of the workbook to understand the nature of the data contained in the table. To rename a table, begin by clicking anywhere inside the table. Then, from the Table Tools Design Contextual tab of the ribbon, click in the Table Name field on the far left side of the ribbon. Having clicked in the table name field, simply type the name you want for your table. In this example, we're replacing the name of Table 1 with the new name Sales. While you have great freedom when creating a new table name, there are a few guidelines you must follow. For those familiar with the guidelines associated with defined names, the following list should look familiar. The first character of the table name must be a letter, an underscore character, or a backslash. You can use numbers and special characters in a table name, but they cannot be the first character of the table name. Likewise, you cannot have spaces in the table name. Tip number two, the length of the table name must be 255 characters or fewer. Tip number three, the table name cannot be a combination of letters and numbers that could otherwise be a row and column address. For example, A100 cannot be a table name because it is the address of a cell in a worksheet. And lastly, tip number four, table names are not case sensitive. Tables are one of Excel's most powerful features. While this tip is not meant to convey all of the usefulness of working with tables, you now know that if you create a table in Excel, you can assign virtually any name you wish to this dynamically resizing data range. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.